So after dinner, you should be cleaning your firearms. So we have a firearm party going on here. Wax on, wax off. Get all that sand out. Guys, make it worth your while. Always clean those firearms. A lot of dust out here. For sure. All right, good morning, everyone. It is Saturday, and I'll get the date right this time, December the 4th. I said December 23rd yesterday. I don't know what I was thinking. Anyway, um, we started looking at the scores on practice score, and what we noticed was is we all shot very clean yesterday. I think I had uh, one Charlie. Otherwise, they were all alphas, and I had one miss. Bryson had all hits, one Charlie, and Kitty back there, I think you had just a handful of Charlies. Yeah, just about four, I think four. And what we saw was Kenny's being beat by a guy that had 30 misses because he shot faster. So what we're going to do is shoot a lot faster and a little more sloppy because it's not paying off to shoot accurately this match. I know that sounds stupid, but... We've what, got the room for error. So that's one thing about the scoring system for this. We noticed that... Some of the guys are just hauling tail and taking those Charlies, throwing some of those mics, um, versus we've been getting all of our impacts every time and yep. trying to make sure our hit factor's high. Our hit factor's probably gonna be higher um, just if we haul a little bit more tail and throw a Charlie here and there. Um, Cause our times can definitely decrease cause you saw by the videos. I mean, you know, he's faster than that. Um, we all are, but yep. if, we, uh, if we speed it up a little bit and start throwing those rounds a little bit more, um, we should do a lot better. So we're gonna see. Let's shoot fast and see what the video looks like today. Stand by. So this is Ron with Cobalt. What do you do for Cobalt? Uh, I help with sales in California as well as shoot the crap out of their guns. Nice. How's it been running for you today? No issues. Awesome. All right. And then you're with Cobalt as well? Yes, sir. I'm their internal sales agent. Okay. So sales and sales. Yep. And then we have another one over here. What do you do for Cobalt? I am chief of operations. Okay. Nice. Nice. And then... That's like the big chief of operations. Well, you, don't you don't work for him. You don't work for him. Bye.
Well, Bryson, what do you think about the trip to Utah? It's absolutely amazing. I couldn't be more happy to be out here and uh, grateful for the opportunity. Well, guys, we are headed to Sunday morning, December the 4th, I believe, if I get my dates right. Yeah. And we are headed back over to the range. We'll come at you at the range in just a few. Ready. Stand by. All right, guys, the 2021 PCSL championships are over with, and we are getting ready to do the award ceremony. All right, we're getting ready to head over to the tent. That should be pretty good. All right. Oh, man. Asian fun. get started. So first of all, thanks everyone for coming. I know this is uh, an end of the year event that was announced kind of late after the April event that we did, um, but I am blown away by how successful all of you made it. So really with the two gun stuff, none of this could have happened without this property and this opportunity. Um, you know, I'd probably still be emailing the USPSA board of directors trying to get them to switch their two gun to allow rifle caliber and hit factor. So I'm uh, just super grateful for the opportunity to uh, try this kind of event at this range and, you know, modernize what we can really do with practical shooting. So let me turn it over to Aaron to um, talk to you guys a little bit about what Cobalt Kinetics involvement is in this project. So first of all, thanks everyone for coming out. But as we got down the line and started creating new platforms of, uh, of guns, we realized that it would be wrong to get away from the competition world. And uh, we could create the same level of reliability, but put it into a gun that works competitively and otherwise. And first place competition division, Kyle Litzy. <laughs> And first place back to school, Joe Farewell. First place lady, Justine Williams. First place law enforcement, Ray Helms. Got the agent so fast. All right, guys, so the match is over with. It's Sunday, and Bryson, what would you think of the match? How would you finish up? Fantastic match. I ended up finishing seventh practical. Um, rifle ran great. Match was fantastic. Different format than what I'm used to, but uh, we still did pretty good, especially after injuries and everything else. All right, Kenny, what would yeah. you think? Well, this is, uh, like I said, my first time doing this, and I had a great time. The venue was awesome. I'm definitely going to do this again. I finished 44th, so kind of middle of the pack at the practical division, and I got to try out the Cobalt Rifles. All right, guys, and then uh, I was lucky enough to win high law enforcement. Most of you don't know that uh, I started in law enforcement in 1991, and uh, I'm actually getting out of it this year. This will be uh, a long time in the game. I was able to win a pretty cool prize from Microtech with a uh, their trophy. But I wanted to address a question because uh, some people commented on the first day, and there were one or two folks that said it sounded like a Cobalt infomercial. I take pride in being able to shoot for Cobalt. I feel honored to be able to shoot for Cobalt. I know Bryson feels the Absolutely. same way. And it wasn't meant to be an infomercial. Um, Aaron Quinn, who I'm gonna bring in right now, who's the owner, 
the new owner of Cobalt. Guys, this is not the old Cobalt. So a lot of people had commented about $4,000 rifles. What do most of the rifles cost that you can get nowadays? And what have you done to change, I guess, the direction of the company? Uh, so 90% of the rifles we send out are 2450 and that's our Pro Series independent of the length barrel or handguard that comes with it they're 2450 um, and it, it really only comes one way there's not a basic and then you add upgrades and, and things like that they come with the geisley triggers nice and so all top things. of line components yeah. hand fitted uppers and lowers and i, I want to address a question there was a commenter that said it's not even a combat proven platform i will tell you that the conditions that we were shooting in guys this is the powdered dirt yeah. bryson and i flew out here without a single rifle aaron was and the guys at cobalt were gracious enough to basically have rifles ready for us we shot the 13.7 inches that we reviewed yesterday on the channel we had zero malfunctions i know i had over 400 alphas and like i said finishing eighth in a venue I've never shot in before. I actually borrowed one of your pistols, which I thank you for. How many malfunctions did you have? Zero. No malfunctions whatsoever. I had over 400 alphas as well. Zero misses for the entire match. The guns ran absolutely flawlessly. Um, we were even to the point of throwing our guns in the dirt just to mess around with them, um, throwing them through tunnels and different things like that, just to prove how capable these rifles are, whether it's defensive or com competitive use. So that comment, especially, um, combat ready or something like that is really invalid considering the conditions that we're in yeah that's what we're doing out here yeah. we're testing the platforms in the harshest conditions guys just a vehicle driving by if you pan over there those are the kind of conditions we were shooting in for the last two days dust is all over everything and while it's not just dust you have to deal with mud and all of that i was very very impressed with the platform especially that rcb3 break i heard so many good comments about that yeah absolutely fantastic so aaron thank you very much for having us out and taking absolutely. the time to get the guns ready for us um and yeah, even man. for kenny yeah, yeah. absolutely thank you all right now anything you want to say in parting no no I'm, I'm i'm good okay all right guys hope you enjoyed the video like share and subscribe we'll come at you this weekend from coleman's creek for the team sniper match a lot of heavy hitters out there. We'll see you then.